here. The Grey Goose, Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. Barbara and I, out shopping, witnessed a bit of shoplifting by an attractive but rather shabby woman whom we learned was named Nancy Wells. This was apparently her third offence in the same store, and it looked like certain jail. I, however, gate-crashed the manager's office and, with false credentials, persuaded him to let her go. I impressed on him the fact that she was the kleptomaniac daughter of a very well-known family. Barbara then trailed her to her very poor rooms and came back and reported to me. Somehow I was haunted by her face. It stirred my memory, and, and yet I couldn't pinpoint it. Well, good morning, Fletcher, and Miss Faversham. Well, it's nice to see you down at the yard. Good morning, Ben, but I do wish you wouldn't sound so exuberant. You make me feel as if I were someone you'd invited down here for a hosepipe interview. <laughs> well, as you're a voluntary caller, you can shed the chills. Now then, I gather you're interested in some kleptomaniac. Right, Ben, and I'm anxious to have a look at your gallery, the photographs of those loan. Well, of course, they're not in my line of business, but I've arranged with Sergeant Hoskins to let you have a look at our etchings. <laughs> but why are you interested? I, I don't quite know. I'm following a bit of a nebulous clue, if you get me. It's just an idea. I don't get you or your nebulous clue. And what's in the wind? And why are you delving into the realms of petty crime? Well, I'll tell you. Yesterday I encountered shoplifting. You did? Yes. It was done by someone, a woman who made an impression on me I can't pinpoint. I may or may not have seen her before. That I can't say. But for the sake of this idea, <laughs> hallucination if you like, I want to find this woman. And you think a photograph in our gallery might stir your memory? That, yes. But I have a feeling this woman might not be in your gallery. That will help me tremendously. You're being very serious about this. Believe me, I am. Very serious. All right, then, come along. It'll take you some hours, I'm afraid. When you've finished, come back here to my office. No dice? No, she's not in your gallery. Then she's not an habitual. Is that certain? Well, no, not exactly. Your friend would have her photograph in our collection if she had at any time been convicted. But there are plenty of sinners around who so far haven't been caught. I see. Didn't you find a face that matched, Miss Faversham? No, not a resemblance. You see, I saw her for quite a while in the store. I'm certain I should recognize her photograph. Oh, it looks like a blue duck letter. Well, by no means. Oh, how's that? Well, she's so far not been arrested and convicted. And that's a bit of comfort. Oh, bless my soul. You're pleased that a shoplifter, a, a, a sneak thief, has not been caught? In this case, I am, Ben. In fact, I'll go so far as to say I'm grateful to whatsoever gods there be. It'd be very strange at times, though, man. Well, I suppose I'll have to take no notice of your interest in this criminal, but be careful. I may have to pull you in for consorting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is, if you find her. I'll be careful, Ben. Come on, Barbara. Well, thank you, Ben. Hold it, Barbara. Listen. Where's you, Hoskins? Listen. The Roland Fletcher has just left my room. Detail a man to follow him up till midnight. And no interference, whatever. No, none at all. I just want to check. Yes. All right, see to it. Hear that, Barbara? I did. Oh, most excellent Ben Ford. One of these days, you and I will compare notes. <laughs> I wonder which of us will have the best laugh. Come along, wench. We're going to tour London. Have you ever been to the Tower? St Paul's, Westminster Abbey, South Kensington Museum, Kew Gardens? Oh. Only some of them. Good. Then you shall see them all today, and so will that flat foot of Ben's. <laughs> Lucky we overheard him, wasn't it? Lucky? Not at all. That is strategy, or better still, intelligence. Oh, whose? Mine. All mine. <laughs> now, get your skates on. Yes, Ford here. Oh, yes, Hoskins. The man's back, is he? Good. Put him on. All right, go ahead. What? Kew Gardens? Here? 
Yeah? Well, speak up, man. What do you mean you're tired out? So get on with it. St. Paul's? Westminster Abbey? All right, all right, all right. Fourteen hours of here and there, hither and thither. All right, all right. Get off the line, for heaven's sake. Oh, damn. Huh? What's that? Yes, yes, I did say damn. Now ring off or I'll say something that'll bust your eardrums. Ah, man, Fletcher, you're a mysterious cove. I'm not certain you're all you pretend to be. I think you'll take a bit of investigating when I've time. Now, why should you be interested in a shoplifter? Phew, I'm tired, Rowley. Oh, so am I. But I've had a wonderful day. <laughs> now you can write to all your country cousins and tell them all about London. They know all about it. Hmm? It's the Londoner himself that never looks past his nose. Yes, that's quite right. No, I, I can't let you go yet. Oh, but I'm worn out. True. Owing to that trailing idea of Ben's, we've wasted all today, but I'm going to make a search of some of my souvenirs, and I'm afraid you'll have to help. Oh. All right. What are we looking for? Photographs. Army ones, I think. You have something in mind? I have, but I'm only guessing so far. Uh, start on that lower drawer. Right. I'll look through the bookcase. Oh, here's some pictures. From Paris, I think. Yes, I... Uh, um, all right, uh, you look in the bookcase. Uh, leave that drawer to me. It's not here. I'm certain I have one somewhere. One what? Photograph. Good heavens, you've got hundreds. Oh, here's a packet of army ones. Groups. Oh, here's one of you. Oh, don't you look sweet in a battle bowler. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that bundle. Yes, yes, it'll be here, I think. Yes, here it is. Here, yeah, who is? Corporal Wells, in a little leather frame, see? Well, who's Corporal Wells? Look in the back of the frame. A girl's photo? Yes, but whose? What girl? Oh, well, it's a girl of about 20, I should think. Go on, go on. Who does she remind you of? Yes, it could be. Rowley, it could be. Yes, it's that Nancy Wells, the shoplifter, a few years ago. Yes, it must be. It'll be 12 or 14 years ago when that was taken. It is her, I'm certain. Who is... Uh, was she? She was Corporal Jeremy Wells' wife. A bride, actually. He was in my unit, killed on our first raid. Poor little man. How did you come by the photographs? Oh, I... He gave them to me just before we before we set out. I was to give them to her if he didn't come back. And why didn't you? Oh, heaven knows. Maybe I was kept too hard at it, and then my own trouble came, and... So the years have gone by, and... And now we've found her. Yes, I'm certain of it. And a shoplifter at that. I'm certain she's not bad. Can you wonder how her face haunted me? Of course, 12 years or so make a lot of difference, but I was certain from the first that her face was familiar. We must give her the photographs now. Yes. But more important still, we must help her. That shoplifting business is very serious. There may be something at the back of it. She seems very poor. Maybe that's it. Oh, Lord, I've just thought of something. What? Do you think that little sneak of a shopwalker... Williams? Do you think he was A1? He seemed a very nasty piece of work, I thought. Didn't um, ring true, if you know what I mean. Well, he did sort of arrest her and drag her off to the manager's office. Mm, yes, he did. It was just a hunch. All the same, I think I'll look him up. He might bear investigating. Look, tomorrow we'll pay a call to the staff entrance of that store. Maybe he'll be a, bear a bit of following. The staff would leave at about 5.30, wouldn't they? Generally, the exodus is on the tick. Right. We'll be there in the car. It's getting a bit dark. Hope we don't miss him. Look, uh, you take the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. I may have to follow him on foot. I'll try and keep you in sight if you do. Rolly, quick, there he is. Look. That's him. All right. Follow slowly. Aha, bus stop. 
Westminster, Vettersey, Clapham Colman, Clapham Junction. Don't tell me. By Jove, yes. Surely he's not, not Nancy's number two. Follow the bus. He'd hardly be Nancy Wells' number two and have her run in, would he? I suppose not. Look, I'll get that bus and hang on to him. You meet me, if we miss, at that address of Nancy Wells, 17 something or other. 17 Lavender Road, Clapham Junction. Right. Wait in the car near there. I'm glad you turned up. He's here? In this very house. Let himself in with a key, too. I can't make it out. Come on, we'll go in. I've already got the front door opened. I'm telling you, Nancy, that I'm getting tired of your carelessness. And I'm getting tired of you bullying me every time I make a slip. But you let a mere slip of a sales girl <laughs> see you. You didn't even cover up for me. You, you ran me into the manager. I couldn't do anything else. In any case, what have you got to show for the week's work? Only a dozen. Only a dozen? Crikey, you weren't worth the bus fare. You got off somehow the other day. That toff fixed it with Briggs, the manager, somehow. But look here. Next time you get caught, if it's in our store, you go up good and proper. But you wouldn't dare do that. Of course I would. But I'd expose you. Ah, oh, don't be a mug. Haven't I run you in three times? You wouldn't be believed. Now give me that dozen and quick. And see here, next week I'll expect 50 pairs at least. Oh, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. You will and like oh, it, my girl. Just... You will. You How will. How cute to get outside, I think. Hurry. Yes. Good heavens, what do you think of that? I think someone ought to be murdered. And it's not a poor shoplifter. <laughs> It would appear on this occasion that the Grey Goose has undertaken to solve a problem for sentimental reasons rather than gain or revenge. Follow the development of this exceptional exploit of the Grey Goose.